Give me a Sun City, man. Yeah, I'm going to end it on a good note, so have a good night. All right, Peace man. out, man. Peace out, man. Peace. Give me a Sun City, man. Yeah, we're going to stick for the long haul. Anybody got a Sun City to end this off on? The man said Baltimore. We already basically did Baltimore. Like, I mean, like, at the end of the day, we basically did Baltimore. Orlando. You can never move to Florida. We'll do Houston tomorrow. Yeah. You just say Florida. You know what's up. Houston, you need some time. I need more than 15 minutes to do Houston. Um, let's do... Um, Oh, okay. He was like, get out of my car. And he said no. And then they threw a couple of punches and he drove off, which eventually uh, flung her out of the side of the car door. Oh, fuck. fuck. Damn, that big old sister, man. Sister down. And he said no. And then they threw a couple of punches and he drove off, which eventually uh, flung her out of the side of the car door. Caught on camera, unbelievable video of a woman being carjacked at the gas pump. You can see gas spraying through the air as the woman also goes flying. Then the suspect just speeds away. This security video shows the woman being dragged several feet while the gas pump just kept on running. Good evening, I'm John Brown. Thanks for joining us. I'm Luann Sorrell. This all happened in Apopka, but police caught up with the suspect all the way in Daytona Beach. Fox 35's Patrick Perez is live at the gas station where it happened tonight with a closer look at this shocking video. Patrick. Yeah, Luann, this all happened here at this gas station off of OBT in Hiawassee in Apopka. And you can still see tonight that pump that woman was using is still damaged. Now, thankfully, there was a witness nearby who watched this all go down and came to that woman's help. The video is shocking and hard to look at. It was obviously like a harrowing incident. Watch as a driver of a stolen silver Toyota gets out and walks toward the woman pumping gas. A second or two go by before she notices a man get in the driver's seat of her SUV and start to take off. She was like, get out of my car. And he said no. And then they threw a couple of punches and he drove off, which eventually uh, flung her out of the side of the car door. At one point, you can see gas still spraying out of the hose. Morning Lavelle watched this go down Wednesday right across the street from the mobile gas station near OBT in Hiawassee in Apopka. I saw her and I asked her if she was okay from the other side of the street and she said, no, I just got carjacked. Morning says she and a store clerk were able to tend to the woman's okay? injuries on her arm before officers arrived. Hours later, police arrested 31-year-old oh. Andrew McClellan. He had <laughs> Fucking Paul Wall got there. Nate Ways, man. And Nate, uh, Nate, Nate, what you in Florida last recently, man? God damn you. You've been busy tonight, man. He had to get it. He, he had to leave with something. Yeah, man. You boy, you died twice and then carjacked a black a big fat black chick, man. You ain't shit, man. Made it all the way to Daytona Beach in the woman's rental. She was alone in the gas station parking lot, and that's probably why he chose her as a victim because she was isolated. McClellan is no stranger to law enforcement. Orange County deputies arrested him at the end of August and accused him of burglarizing two separate businesses on OBT. According to court documents, state attorney Andrew Bain's office dropped one of the cases after his team found it was not suitable for prosecution. Oh, they did that because he's white, man. That was, they were never do that for a black guy and because bain's office took too long to file formal charges in the second case a judge let mcclellan out of jail on september 29th exactly five days before police say he carjacked this woman and earlier this afternoon, I did reach out to State Attorney Bain's office to get an explanation as to why that first burglary case was dropped and why there was a delay in the second case that eventually led to that suspect's release. This will be the first car jacket hate crowd. <laughs> they also picked her because she's so big. They knew she'd be slow. Yeah. From jail, a spokesperson told me they were going to try to work on a response, but we have still to receive one. At Mm. Hey. Got 
one. Hey. Uh. He said, I'm going to put y'all on my back. Hold on. Also, New at Six, confronted by neo-Nazis. A state rep says that happened to him when he showed up to speak at an event in Brevard County. State Representative Randy Fine says he is still shaken up by the encounter. Fox 35's Esther Bowers joining us live at the Space Coast Convention Center tonight. Mm. So, Esther, deputies actually had to get involved here. Damn. The sheriff's office.